hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm gonna show you how i did this nail set and this is the easiest and the fastest way to do your nails and i'm really excited about it to share with you guys and if you liked it keep on watching so right now i'm gonna prep my nails by removing the natural shine on my nails and today i do a little bit different uh, because I have a layer of beige gel on top of my natural nail to protect my nail. So when I remove, it won't damage my natural nails. So today I'm not pushing back the cuticle or cleaning around the cuticle lines or anything like that. Right here, I just use a sanding band to remove the shine. So it will help the nail um, that I'm going to do to stay on a little bit better. And right now I'm applying the nail dehydrator to remove any excess oil on top of my nails because I applying that base gel like a few days before I doing this nail set. So I really need to do that. And I also applying the nail primer. Today I used the brand from Ali and I applying two coats. So this will help to melt out the gel that I already have on my nail to blend it in together with the new product that I'm going to apply on top. So right now I'm going to use the press on nail from E-Nail Couture in the pink color and I'm going to apply a really thin layer on my nails just to bring back that little sticky from the base coat that i already did it a few days before so it not sticky no more i'm just applying a really thin layer and it's also give my nail a little bit more pink color since today we're gonna do a friend tip with the natural pink so this will be um helping the pink pink color looking nicer So I noticed that with this kind of builder gel in the bottle, it burn really bad when you place your hand in the light. So I recommend you to flash cure them first with a little light. And today I using Inel Couture uh, full curved gel tip and in the shape almond. And it's already uh, edgy on the top and already polished in friend tip so that's why it make my life so much easier i don't even need to polish my nail today guys it's the fast and the easiest way and i love it so so much so right now i applying the primer inside the nail and i use poly gel today uh, from mccart the clear one and I also use the base coat for model one today at the slip solution. So with this one, I don't need a lot of poly gel. I just use a little bit of the poly gel only just to have it enough to fit my nail bed. So you know how the lazy girl method uh, from Femi Beauty, she will apply the poly gel the whole nail. But because today I already have the nail um, have the color in front tip so I don't have to do that I just apply where I place my nail so today I also use the little lamb DIY lamb from Inel Couture also so with this lamb it make my life so much easier when I do this kind of nail on top of myself and I clean any excess poly gel that my squeeze out on top and I'm gonna cure my nail in the little lamb for 15 seconds before I put my hand in the big lamp to fully cure for 60 seconds. So I am applying uh, the primer and repeat the same thing to the rest of the nails. So well, let me go in more depth um, how I did this one. Uh, it's kind of like a dupe method. Instead of using the press 
on gel like a builder gel in the bottle I use poly gel instead because I really enjoying how the the texture of the poly gel is a little more stiff especially the one from McCart so it's really stiff so it's less chance for your nail to get bubble and it's also easier to work with so when you place the nail on top of your natural nails the nails not gonna move around so it's so much easier for for me to place a nail and just cure my nail in the lamp without worrying about holding it so tight or having bubble so this way is really easy and we only need a little bit of poly gel a little bit goes a long way we don't need a lot of poly gel here because the more we apply poly gel the more poly gel gonna squeeze out around the cuticle area and also when you place it on your nail you do not need to press on so hard just really slightly enough for the poly gel to place on top of your natural nail and I know it's that with the poly gel, it lasts so much longer than the press on nail when you do it on your cell, actually. I mean, I did it so many times. I use the press on nail, um, which is the builder gel in the bottle. When I do it on somebody else, it was so much easier for me to do it. And actually, they last so much longer when I do it on myself. Somehow on myself, it's so much harder because the gel was thinner and when I hold it, it create a bubble sometimes. So it took practice to get there. So when I was trying the poly gel instead, it works so much easier and faster and the nail lasts longer too. So I hope you can give it a try. Let's see if you will like it because today I used this one already have the friend tip on so i don't even need to polish my nail or anything like that so this nail set go on so much faster and i know they also have different color and glitter but it's mostly more like a jelly look so they do that way so when you cure your nail with a gel it could able to cure through all the way so you can see there's still a little bit see-through here but it still look really nice and natural so right now I'm just using a cuticle bit to clean around the cuticle area just to remove any of the poly gel might have squeezed out um, and also blend in the nail tip to make it look more natural and clean out any cuticle that might still around so making sure everything nice and flesh. And I also use another bit. This is a fine bit just to blend around the cuticle area again to smooth it out. So when we're applying the top coat, it will look nice and smooth. And with this kind of nail, um, I recommend do not file or even buffer on top of the white part because they make out of gel. So you might have probably gonna remove the white gel polish if you do that so we're just gonna focus file around the cuticle area only we're not gonna even buffer the nail on the whole nail just around the cuticle also So I'm just gonna reshape the nail and this is make my life so much easier because the nail shape is already looking good. I just round it a little bit on the tip so making sure it's not too sharp or anything like that. I don't even need to do it on the side um, because the nails already look good. And also with this nail we don't need to file so much because they're also gonna mind to remove the white 
part of the nail so just do it really simple and fast So right now I'm just gonna buff my nail only around the cuticle area only just to smooth everything out before I'm gonna polish it just with the top gel. Here's how the nail look like after shave and buff. And today I'm using the top coat uh, Super Shiny, I think that's the name, from e -Nail Couture at a top coat today and so far I'm in love with it it's so shiny and it makes the nail look so good so I'm gonna apply the top coat on all of the nail before uh, I start with the design And today I'm gonna use this butterfly sticker. Really simple and fast to do the design. And I was so excited because it's in the past couple years since this sticker come out, I don't have to draw the butterfly by hand no more, which is make my job so much easier and faster. I would love to draw them once in a while, but if I would do it on a client and I need it to be a little bit faster, and also this sticker looks so much more better and more perfect. Also, this one is also a little bit um, iridescent, so it make it look really like a holographic look. So it look really, really good. So right now I'm just applying some um, gel for the rhinestone gel. And today I used the one from Red Iwana. And I noticed that this one is a little bit more in a thinner textures. So you can see right here my rhinestone kind of slide down, which is so annoying. And um, that's why the next finger I'm going to use a different kind of gel. So I know that this one it called sealing. So I guess we only use it like at the end just to go around the, the rhinestone that already cure just to keep it a little extra hole but if you just use it uh, as it is with the big rhinestone the rhinestone kind of slicing around so I didn't like that Today I try to keep the nail a little bit more simple, just two nail design and the rest front tip because I haven't had front tip for a long time. So I really enjoy the way it looks so classic. So right here I'm using the gummy gel, I think that's the name from e -Nail Couture for the rhinestone. And I'm applying the top coat on the whole nail to smooth it out because I know that this gel is so thick. So it makes the nail look a little bit um, bulky and I know it's supposed to be for like a really big rhinestone but I just want to try today for this rhinestone and it still look really good. I just need to smooth it out with a top coat. So spring is already almost here and I know it's the weather still kind of cold. Um, and also stormy i know where texas i heard that it was snowy and really cold right now so hopefully everybody doing okay in texas and everywhere else that have snow right now 
but um when the print the spring come i know that we are starting to do a lot of the flower nail design and the butterfly which is one of my favorite nail design ever and i'm really excited for more nail set of butterfly and flower so after i curing my nail i applying the cuticle oil today i use the one from kira sky and we are finished So here's the finished look guys. I hope you guys like it. And please subscribe to my channel if you like it. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. So when I upload a new video, it will let you know. And thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you next time. Bye.